So the next uh, data set that we have is about video surveillance. So it's called Video Surveillance Online Repository. And the author presenter is going to be, watch out, uh, Roberto Bezzani. But that's really fine, he's closer to my language. So. <laughs> and <laughs> this, the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, this invitation. Visor is a surveillance uh, online repository. So it's not just uh, one uh, data set for one specific topic, but uh, includes a lot of videos and other data set for video surveillance application. And um, so Visor is more a framework than uh, a data set. We have videos, we have a concept list, so an ontology for surveillance. Uh, we have annotations uh, and other tools for creating the annotation or to download videos to search by concept and so on. And of course, first of all, Visor is a corpus, has a video corpus. And uh, currently we have um, about uh, 380 videos with annotation grouped into 20 categories. And we also have a new people identification data set which is out of this statistic. And among the other, we have videos for uh, shadow detection, video for uh, smoke detection, uh, human actions, and so on. So a lot of videos included in this collection. And these are some of uh, the most famous uh, video included in the collection. Most of uh, these videos are used for surveillance uh, research. And um, for example, the first one uh, was used for uh, shadow removal, uh, the, this one. And this is a part of a collection of videos for, uh, um, for um, consistent labeling. So we have three different cameras looking at the same place. Uh, and the, to the topic is uh, to um, connect uh, trajectories of different people. And uh, Visor has also a web interface. Visor is publicly available. And you can uh, go to this interface, this one. And from the web interface, uh, you can uh, have a look of all the videos divided into categories. You need to register yourself before uh, downloading the video. And for each category, for example, uh, shadow removal, you can uh, have a look of all the video containing contained in the category. For each video, you have a sort of legend containing uh, symbols for each uh, content uh, in addition to the video. For example, this video contains an automatic annotation of the video as well as some uh, attachments. And uh, if you go to the video details, you can uh, uh, look for uh, some uh, metrics on the video. You can uh, download the calibration data if it's available for that video. You can download uh, some attachment files. You can have a preview of the video. This is a compressed preview. And of course, you can uh, download uh, the video, the original video, and also some uh, other recorded versions of the video. We use FFmpeg to record the videos, and so you can load the flash version of the video, as well as MPEG-1, and so on. And you can also perform yourself some operations. You can download the, uh, the annotation. You can upload your annotation. You can edit the annotation. You can insert some uh, related papers to that video, and so on. So this is the complete framework uh, of the data set of Visor. If you, uh, if you upload the video and uh, uh, you have a paper, uh, I mean, a citation to a paper that used uh, that video, you can write your citation. This is the, the aim of uh, this part. Let me go back to the presentation. So this is 
you have already seen this part. And from the web interface, you also you can also search by concept. For example, you can uh, select uh, chairs, and you can uh, have a list of all the video containing a chair. Of course, to do this part, uh, we need an ontology. So we have defined an ontology for surveillance application, and the ontology is uh, um, able to define and to describe three different uh, uh, top topics, uh, sorry, items. You can describe the physical object included in uh, the video, for example, chairs, trees, uh, vehicles, and so on. You can describe actions or events. And uh, finally, you can also describe uh, some metadata information about the context of the video. And in Vasor, you can uh, upload uh, and download uh, different kinds of annotations. You can have a base annotation, which contains only a global description of, video of the video. You can, uh, include, you can uh, upload the ground true annotation or download the ground true annotation of the video with a frame-by-frame -frame description. And finally, you can also upload or download some automatic annotation. So if you have a system that is able to provide an annotation for a video, you can upload your results of your system just to, um, to claim your results of your system with respect to that video. And the annotation are uh, uh, included in a DB, and you can export the annotation using three different formats, the Viper format, which is very, very common uh, in surveillance, or you can download the annotation in IPEG 7 or OVL. And this is an example of uh, annotation uh, by Viper format. And finally, let me present the last uh, data set included in Visor, which is a data set for people re-identification called uh, 3D Pass. This data set uh, includes uh, 600 videos. And uh, differently from other data set for identification, for each person, we have a, a short video and not only one image. And so you can uh, um, try to re-identify people using not only a, a single image, but uh, a complete video of that. And the video were collected over uh, different days, uh, different cameras. Uh, these are the eight views uh, of the data set. Uh, and uh, as it is possible to see, people are collected, uh, images are collected using different like conditions and also different viewpoints. So it's very challenging, very challenging data set. And uh, additionally to the videos, we have made available uh, the full calibration of all the cameras, the background images for each video, and uh, some selected snapshot for each person and for each view. And finally, a coarse 3D space reconstruction of the environment where the video are captured. So this is concluding my uh, short presentation of uh, the visor uh, uh, data set, uh, visor platform. And if you have any question or if you want to uh, contribute to the population of this uh, framework, please contact me or Rita Kukiara, which is the head of my lab. Okay, thank you. Um, that was pretty quick, actually. Yeah. So do we have any comments or questions? Actually, I, mine is out of curiosity. How long you've been doing this data set? Because it's so complete, everything is impressive. Uh, <laughs> we started the Visor in uh, 2007 in our right. uh, project, framework project uh, European. And right, and since so then? Uh, we have collected all the video from uh, that. Right, so this is one example of someone who is doing a data set and actually is getting a professorship after <laughs> this amount of work. Uh, do we have any more comments or suggestions or questions? Anything to add to the discussion? Okay, so thank you so much.